Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 18th of 2022. Well, it is titled the 25 brightest stars in the sky. So what do we see here? Well, we see exactly what the title tells us, and that is the 25 brightest stars in the night sky. Now, of course, that doesn't exclude our own sun, which would be far brighter than all of these stars. However, we can look at these stars and you may recognize some of the names, certainly the very bright star Sirius in the upper left, the brightest of the stars in the night sky. Uh, in the middle of the top row, Rigel Cantaurus, which is better known perhaps as Alpha Centauri, which is one of the nearest stars to the sun and actually looks relatively bright too. We see the bright stars in the second row, Rigel and Betelgeuse from the constellation of Orion. Now as we look at these, we see a number of things including that the stars have different colors. So we see a few that look yellowish like Rigel Centaurus and Capella. We see a few that look very red, such as Betelgeuse and Antares and Aldebaran, very bright red stars. And we see a lot of them that have a bluish tinge to them, including Rigel and Sirius as very bright blue stars. Now this color of the star tells us something about the temperature. The higher the temperature of a star, the shorter its primary wavelength at which it is emitting light. So a very hot star will appear blue, whereas a much cooler star will appear red. Now the types of stars we see also are varied here. Many of the blue stars are main sequence stars on their main sequence of the HR diagram, which are where stars spend most of their lives. So these are very hot, bright stars, much hotter than their sun and very relatively young stars. Many of the red stars are old stars that have gone through their lives and evolved and become giant stars or even super giant stars. So the stars that we see here are not typical of the stars in the universe. These are many of the unusual stars, far brighter than most of the other stars. The typical star that we see in the sky uh, here are not typical of the stars in the universe. The typical star in the universe would be a small red dwarf star, which would make up the vast majority of stars in the universe. Here we see some of the more prominent stars, brighter stars, which can be seen over vast distances, allowing them to be seen from very far away where other typical stars could no longer be visible. So something like our own sun, if you moved it about four light years away, it would look about the same as Alpha Centauri in the top center there. And we would see uh, if we got it even further away, it would not be even one of the brighter stars in the sky. And our sun is sort of a middle sized star. There are many stars brighter and many stars that are much, much fainter. Now you may note one star missing from this, this and this is the star Polaris. Polaris known as the North Star is also one of those well known stars, but is not one of the 25 brightest stars in the sky. In fact, we would about have to double this list to get to Polaris on it. Polaris would be around the 50th brightest star in the sky. So it is while it is prominent because of its specific location near the North Pole of the sky, it is not one of the very brightest stars in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for December 18th of 2022. It was titled 25 brightest stars in the night sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be interstellar tadpoles. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.